My name's Andy Casale. I've been involved with midget race cars all my life, practically. My dad uh, started in 1936. I was born in 1935, so I've been playing around with these things ever since. These cars in this line represent cars that are from the that era, and uh, they run in the WRA, which is Western Racing Association, and uh, we run on somebody else's program. We're basically filling in spots for intermission. Okay, my car is a Curtis Craft replica built in 1988 by Arlen Curtis, son of the famous builder Frank Curtis. To all extents, it is exactly the same as the cars that were built in the 40s. It has an Offenhauser 102 cubic inch engine which was the king of the engines back in those days. It has all Casale engineering running gear. We make the rear ends, the knockoffs, the ring and pinion, the axles, the whole ball of wax. This car here is a uh, Chevy 2 powered midget. Chevy 2 motors came in after the Offenhausers kind of met their Waterloo, Waterloo as the Chevy 2's had more power. This belongs to one of our good guys by the name of Bob Lines. He has the, this uh, car collection. and another car which I'm going to show you. Uh, <laughs> Wheel packing today, okay, this, this car here also is a Chevy 2 owned by Bob Lines. It hasn't been completed just yet. It hasn't seen a track yet, but it's it's been done a very a uh, beautiful job. I believe it's a Don Edmonds chassis. I could be wrong, but uh, those came in after the Curtis cars. This car belongs to Bob Mastrolio. He is the WRA president. He has this midget, and he also has a V860 powered midget. This is his newer midget that he resurrected, restored, has a 102 and a half cubic inch off in it and uh, it runs very well. It has a little bit later suspension with tube shocks where the car I just showed you, which was mine, up at the end, has who died Ford shocks. This car here is an Edmunds design also. It has a Chevy 2 for power. It's owned for, uh, by a guy by name of Sharum, and it comes from uh, Arizona. This is a sprint car with the vintage engine in it. Uh, I believe it's an Edmunds design. It's owned by Rich Mastrolio, who's the brother of Bob Mastrolio, our WRA leader, and it's run throughout Nevada, Arizona, and California in the WRA and associated organizations. This is a real vintage sprint car. The motor was built in 1933. It has wire wheels, which was gold for the day. It has a Miller Schofield head. It has a starter in it and can be moved easily where the other cars will have to be push buttons, push truck started. This car has been around for quite some time and it really adds a lot of luster to the organization. This midget race car is a restored original car. It has a 102 Offenhauser engine. It hasn't been run yet. It's The guy has done a tremendous job in restoration. This car was a uh, car called the Copper Cart, driven by a driver by the name of Ed Haddad back in 1946-7. And uh, it ran at Gilmore Stadium in uh, at Los Angeles. And uh, it, the guy's done a beautiful job with it. It just needs to get its feet wet. This car here was originally built by Barry Knowlton. 
He worked for Curtis Craft at one time. This car has a unique Volvo dual uh, four, four cylinder engine. And when he first brought this car out, it wouldn't even start. And he ran it up and down the pits. This, we're going back about four years after they bought the car. Now this car, four years later, is dusting off some of the out, the offy cars on the speedways because these guys have done a lot of work and improved this thing where I'm afraid to run my car against it. He's going to blow me in the weeds. This car is a V860 Curtis Craft Midget. It's owned by a guy by the name of Ken Hilberg. He's owned many cars over the period of time. I believe this car originally was a Bardall car, a Bardall Special. And uh, this car runs in the WRA like the rest of them as much as he can. Thank you. This car is a little bit out of my realm because it's a sprint car. It's got a vintage engine in it. It's got, it, as you can see, it's much larger than the other cars. And this is about the size of a car that I need so I can get in it. Anyway, he does a real good job. He happened to win the last race at the last meet, which was uh, a couple weeks ago.